Yo, what's going on guys? Pulsar back with another video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about negotiations. Uh, this is something that some people have requested, uh, so I figured it was a good time to go ahead and jump into it and show you guys what I do during my negotiations and how to best use your uh, decree points and all that good stuff. So that's, that's really the main two things that we want to cover here today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the account and take a look here. All right, so once you're in, over here to the left, you'll see negotiation. Uh, first things first, you have to have a uh, level 30 outpost. So once you get through level 30, you'll unlock this guy. Uh, once it's unlocked, you will have the option to uh, create your own table by using some neg negotiation cards, um, or you'll have the option to sit at a table. How you do that is in your, your bag here. Uh, if you scroll down and you should see uh, right here, you've got some cards. Uh, I'll explain what these cards mean here real quick. You've got the negotiation cards. This is the one that will start a negotiation. Uh, you can use up to three per time to set a time limit of nine hours. Uh, and then the next thing you got here is protection cards. Uh, so these are when you're sitting at a table and you need to add 30 minutes to protect yourself uh, from getting kicked or from getting booted then you would use these. Uh, it, again, it's gonna give you 30 minutes. So if you're sitting at a nine hour table, you'll need to use 18 of these uh, so that you can last the whole table without getting kicked. And then you've got co cooperation cards. Uh, these are found in the Alliance store. Uh, and what these are is when you're hosting a table, you can put them on um, somebody that's at your table that you need to protect. So if it's a newer player or somebody with a lower Lord level, uh, you can just throw this on them. That way nobody can kick them. It's, it works the same way as the protections. They get 30 minutes. Uh, so each time you use one of these, um, it's a 30 minute uh, buff for your player to not get kicked. And then the last thing here, you've got negotiation expulsion cards. And then what this will be is if they're not being protected and they're sitting at your table, you can boot them. So if they've kicked one of your Alliance members or um, it's just somebody that you don't like, whatever the case may be, uh, you're able to kick them. It just takes one card uh, and you're able to kick anybody you want from your table. So uh, going back into the negotiations here, you're able to see you have negotiation gains. You're able to see your remaining time, uh, who all sitting at your table, if they're currently being protected by one of those protection scrolls. Uh, you can see here I'm hosting uh, because of my senior lord. I, I get a pretty good amount of gains per minute uh, for my alliance members or server members. Um, so you can see here on this chart, I'll pull up real fast. You're more than welcome to take a screenshot. Um, this is how you will determine your negotiation gains at the top here. So for each table that you host, depending on your um, board level, uh, you will gain an additional buff of X amount of points per minute. You can see here I'm a superior Lord three. So if you look on the chart, it's 512. Um, that's what you can see up here at the top. So um, I'll take that off and then move up uh, real quick the boost that you will gain in addition to. So uh, let me slide this over actually. All right, so I'll put this on the screen. Uh, this is the bonus points you get for the uh, for the titles. So you can see like here, um, you get a 20% boost from hosting. So as soon as I host the table, I will start earning 20% more. Uh, and then depending on my title, uh, I will gain additional buffs. So, and, and as will the people sitting here. So uh, this gentleman here does not have any boost. So he doesn't gain any additional benefits. Uh, Shadow here, you can see, they have a Baron title, so they get that 2% boost that you can see in the chart. I've got a Viscount sitting at my table, they got a 3% boost, and then I'm a Duke, so I get a 7% boost. The other 20% comes from me hosting. Um, if you're a King and you host a table, uh, you're, you get a five seats. You'll have a seat here and a seat here, um, as well as a 10% boost, so I'd be getting 130 instead of 127. Um, but that's just something to note if you are a King or plan on getting a King. So um, I'll take that back off the screen. All right, so uh, once the tables are full like they are now, uh, you get you get the option to either boot this player, uh, you can kick the, or you can hit this little button here if you're hosting, uh, and this will expel them like I showed you guys with the cards. Um, you just use one of those and they're gone. Uh, you can also protect them, so I could I could protect them for up to eight hours uh, if I so choose. And so, why do the negotiation gains matter? Why is it important for a lord that's a higher superior level or senior level to host tables so that uh, more people can get this gains per minute. Uh, that obviously goes to your decree scrolls. So that's the second thing we wanted to talk about. You can see here what everybody's gaining. So we've got 31,000, 32,000, 36,000. I'm getting 
37,000. Um, again, this is about every hour-ish, and then that'll translate into your decree scrolls. So once this ends, uh, you can see here I have 17.8 million currently. Um, again, that's just, you get these after your table ends, um, and you're granted all of these points. Um, you can use them on strength, intellect, leadership, or charisma. Um, I particularly think that it pretty much goes in order of what's down here. So you want to get strength up as much as possible. Uh, your intellect is a very short uh, second to that because intellect is also very important. Uh, leadership is uh, about third on the importance list and charisma is right there with it. These could interchange depending on kind of what you're looking at on your overall stats, uh, in my opinion. So if we pull up the, uh, the other... Uh, the last thing that I'll have here to cover uh, is the decree scrolls um, or how much it costs to upgrade them. So you can see here on my strength, I'm up to number 27 uh, and on the chart there, you can look and it costs 32 million. So that is aligned with uh, what we have here. It doubles. So after every three, it goes back to like the level one. I've bolted them on there so you guys can kind of follow along with what I'm talking about. But like you can see from level one to four to seven to 10 to 13, they're just doubled. So it goes from 13.7 to 27.5 to 55 to 110 to 220, et cetera, et cetera. It just doubles every time. Then you've got the level two stage. So you've got two, five, eight, 11, 14 there, and they double each time. And then the most expensive one is obviously the third one. So after every third uh, usage, uh, the points will drop. The general rule of thumb that I particularly use here is I use these uh, decrees during a talent event. Uh, the reason being is that it doesn't really grant enough state power to justify using them in a state power event, in my opinion, unless I'm somewhere like on Charisma where it's, I'm not getting any talent, I'm just getting 6,000 state power. I'll use these during a state power event. So those are kind of my goals here. That's what I'm uh, focusing on on my decrees. Uh, you're more than welcome to take a screenshot of these decree levels. Uh, general rule of thumb, focus on strength and intellect. Uh, those are the two most important. Uh, if you need additional leadership or charisma, this is a good place to upgrade them. So anyway, I hope this helps everyone. I hope this answers any questions that you might have had. If not, please reach out. Let me know. Um, I'm happy to just explain in more detail. Um, you can reach me on Discord or Twitter, uh, whichever one's easier for you guys, or leave a comment below uh, if there's anything in addition that you need uh, additional help with. With that being said, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for all the support. Talk to you guys later. Peace.